has been estimated that nearly 2 billion people have no access to safe drinking water and sanitation. Most of them earn less than $1 per day and live in remote villages across the world, concentrated in Asian, African and Latin American countries. Most vulnerable to preventable waterborne diseases are the women and children. They are the hardest hit because they have to walk for miles to fetch 20 litres of water for drinking that has to last a family of four the whole day. When children should be in school learning how to read and write, they are spending hours fetching water from open wells and hand pumps. One reason why rural girls do not go to school is because there are no toilets. It is a sad commentary today that after spending billions of dollars to provide drinking water to villages, 90% of the rural schools around the world have no access to safe drinking water and toilets. Expensive, unsustainable solutions have not worked. Drilling and installation of hand pumps, exploiting the groundwater, is only affordable in schools close to cities. Piped water supply schemes, where the centralized water source is hundreds of miles away, is too expensive to replicate on a large scale in remote, inaccessible villages. There is an inexpensive solution available to traditional communities all over the world. The practice of collecting rainwater from roofs of buildings. Where there is a great urgency and desperation, communities have applied traditional knowledge in schools and community centers by collecting rainwater in underground waterproof tanks using low-cost materials and local skills. All over the world, from Fiji to Colombia, India to Senegal, we can learn from the wisdom of indigenous communities how to collect rainwater to ease the pressure on drinking water and drastically reduce the drudgery of women and children. The experience of rooftop rainwater harvesting in India is worth mentioning here. More than 500 schools today in 8 Indian states of India have started collecting rainwater from rooftops in schools. Over 50 million litres is collected in schools, providing drinking water through the crucial dry month for over 20,000 children. The total cost of the entire project is $5 million. Today, governments and communities are working for low-cost solutions where the impact is felt immediately. The dependence on professional water engineers to provide drinking water has failed. Now the time has come to depend on the rural communities offering their own solutions. Communities are no longer prepared to wait for years for centralized water schemes to be implemented, when even after the project is implemented, drinking water is not available. The long-term solution is to allow the communities to collect, manage, administer, control and own the water source. It is possible to collect 100,000 litres of rainwater in a school and complete the project in 6 months, costing just 10 cents per litre. This covers the digging of the tank, waterproofing, labour costs, connecting the roofs with pipes, simple water filtration devices, covering the tank, installing a low-cost hand pump, supervision, documentation and administrative costs. In an effort to make this a global movement, the Global Rainwater Harvesting Collective has been registered in Amsterdam in the year of fresh water in 2003. In 2004, community-based organizations in Senegal, Ethiopia, Nepal and India have been contacted. They have sent their community leaders to the Barefoot College in India for training. Work has started in schools using locally available materials and the response has been phenomenal. The question always being asked, and for which there is no answer, is why did we not think of this solution before? What was the reason we did not apply this practical solution based on common sense for all these years? More community-based organizations in Sierra Leone, Kenya and Uganda are approaching the collective and will be covered in 2004-2005. As a movement, this idea is catching on. And there is great enthusiasm that finally a low-cost solution has been found where the community has control and ownership over their own water source. 
This appeal is to collect funds to cover 600 schools, harvesting 50 million litres of rainwater in the mountainous, desert, forest and coastal villages where it is prohibitively expensive to provide drinking water in any other way. The issue is how to provide water for drinking and sanitation to all the remote rural schools and health centers in the world. The sophisticated technology solution has not worked. It is time to listen to the solutions offered by the rural communities. The collection of rainwater from roofs has been shown to be much less expensive and more sustainable than exploiting groundwater for hand pumps or pipe water supply. The decentralized, demystified approach of collecting rainwater and putting the control and ownership of drinking water in the hands of the rural communities is the only long-term solution in the future. The answer is to reduce the dependency of communities on urban-based water engineers. Today, in a school attended by 500 children, it is possible to collect 100,000 litres of water at a total cost of $15,000 and complete the project in six months. The choice is clear. 